Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to teach you on how you can create, you know, the ridge and the valley that you are seeing on this roof. Now, I thought of creating this tutorial because one of my subscribers requested that I teach on how I managed to create the ridge that you are seeing on top of this roof. We have the ridge and also we have the valley and also the hip. And this is what I'm going to show you in this lesson. So make sure that you watch from start to finish. Now, I want to ask all of you, don't just watch my videos. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. I make sure that I upload videos each and every week. So if you subscribe and turn on the bell notification, you'll be notified each time I upload the new video. And for anyone who would like to master Revit in a course, Revit architecture from start to finish on a real project, Revit architecture, Revit structure, and also robot structure analysis. Make sure that you check the links in the description. My approach of teaching is that I teach on a real project so that once you join me in my course, then you should know how to work within the software without any problem. So let me not waste time. Let's get started and see how you can create, you know, create the ridge, the valleys, and also the hips. So what I'm going to do, I'll just, you know, I'm not going to use this project, okay? Because I don't want to be, you to be confused. I want to use a very, very simple model. So I'll just close this one, okay? And I've already opened this one. So I pre-modeled these walls that we have. Of course, you know how to create the walls. There are a lot of lessons on this channel, how to create the walls. So I'll just create the roof and create the, you know, the ridge and the valley and the hip as you are going to see just in this lesson. So I need to go, if I just go to south, I just have two levels. Let me just change to shaded so that I just have level one and level two. So I need to go to that level where I want to create the roof. That's the first step for you to create the roof. So I'll go to level two from here. We have our level and now I need to create the roof. Okay, that is the first step. So I'll go to architecture and you see that I have the roof. I'll just use the roof by footprint. Just click on that. Then what you need to do is to pick, go to the properties and pick the roof that you want to use. I'm just going to use the generic 125. Okay, I think this is okay for me. So I'll select on it. Now we are going to change the, the color, that, that ugly color later on. Okay, we'll change just wait and see what will happen then of course we know you have to specify the overhang right there i'm just going to use 600 millimeters for my overhang then somewhere here you see that we have a number of tools here you can see that if i just over my case there i'm able to see that line which is depicting the overhang that i specified it's because I've, I've used the peak walls and make sure that you use peak walls. Why you have to use peak walls is that this is a tip again that you have to know even those who are already using Revit. You can use peak lines like that. Okay, you see that you're not going to see the offset, but put the offset there. Okay, so even with peak lines, you have the offset, but make sure that you use peak walls. That way, if you move the wall, the roof will expand and that is the power of Revit. When it comes to revisions, it will be easy for you. The roof will also get bigger or smaller if you just move the wall. So I like using the peak walls. So I'll just pick the walls like that. And you can see that we have the, the slope. Okay, so I'll change the slope later if I want. So I'll just pick the walls like that. You can see it's as simple as that for those who not know how to create the roof. We have it there. Then I'll click on modify. Now, if you want to change the, the slopes, you can just need to select the line or you can just select all the lines. If I just want to change, you know, the slope, maybe I just want to have 25 degrees for my slope, I can do that. Or you can go ahead and just select one by one and type from there select the line, click there, you can type the slope the way you want it to be, just like that. But this is how I want my slopes to be, this is a simple roof, just click on the green check mark there, click outside, then open the 3D view, you can see that we have the roof, okay, the color, I don't like the color, I can change the color by just selecting on the roof there, then just click on edit type there, we need to go to the materials, so just click on edit, then click under the material right there. If I want, I can expand this one and just move it here. Once I just click once there, then click that little box at the end. You see that it's using that material. I can go down there and click new material. 
Then we have the new material there, right click and rename it. You can give it any name if you want. I'll just put some initials there, it doesn't matter. Then I can go to the graphics and we have the appearance and the graphics. But since we are not rendering, this is where you specify the materials if you want to render, but we are not going to render, we'll just go to the graphics. Okay, and I can put the colors, but I will just maintain the default colors the way it is because the purpose of this lesson is for me to teach on how to create the ridges, you know, the hips and the valleys. So I'll just click on apply. Okay, then apply once again, click on okay, then okay, and click outside. That color has disappeared. So we have the roof like that. Okay, so now let's proceed with what you want to do. Now, the first step for you to do is to duplicate this roof, okay? So that is the first step for you to create the valleys, the ridges, and the hip. So I'll click on that roof. Then I'll just click on copy to clipboard. Just click there once. Then go to paste and click on uh, aligned to same place. We just want to duplicate this roof to the same place. So just click there. So we have two roofs just within the same place. So make sure that you do that. Once you do that, I haven't deselected. As you can see, that roof is selected. Now, I just need to offset this roof from the base, just like that. Remember, this roof was 125. So I can just offset from the base by a margin of 125, a positive value, move, click on apply, or just move your cursor inside. You see that that roof is duplicated. Okay. If I want, I can even change now the thickness for this roof. Okay, maybe now you can just use any thickness, it's up to you. All right, so I'll just click there, click on edit, and I'll change this one maybe to, let me change it maybe to 7.5. Right, then click on apply. Okay, apply. As you can see, we have the roof on top of this one now. You notice that uh, I didn't duplicate the name for this one. Let me check the bottom one. You see that again? This is the reason why you have to duplicate anything that you want to change in Revit. If I go to edit, it has also changed. So what I want to do, I'll duplicate this one. The name has been added there. Then click on OK. A two has been added. Then click there and bring back this one maybe to... Let me say I want to have maybe the roof. Maybe let me say 125 the way it was. Then click on OK, apply. Now click on OK. You see that this one will change, the other one will not change. OK, now let's go to the main focus of this lesson. What I need to do is to just cut out, you know, this roof so that I can have the ridge and the valleys. So I'll just select on this one or before I even do that, I'll just go to structure. Then there's this two that you have to use vertical opening. Just click on it, then click the top roof. You are in sketch mode once you do that. Then you go on top like this. Then what you are going to do is to just sketch out the parts you want to delete from here. So we are in the sketch mode as you can see the tools. Once you just click that tool there, you will be in the sketch mode. So what I need to do is just to use the pick lines and I'll put the offset there from, the, from each line on top there. I want to create now that ridge. So let me say maybe 75 like that. Then I'll be picking the lines that offset you'll be able to see it like that. So I just want to go around and just pick from both sides. I need to have that offset. You can see that I'm now creating my, my, my ridge there. I'm also creating my valley. You know, make sure that you just offset it on both sides just like that. Okay, I'll just continue until I offset those two lines as you are going to see. Okay, now what we need to do is to join these lines at the end there. I can even use a line or I don't want to offset. Let me just use a line and let me just click there. Okay, the offset is still there. Okay, let me just escape once and remove that offset. Put a zero there and let me use the pick lines and just pick the edge there because I want to cut it right there okay if it gives me my gives me an error i can go back and uh, try to adjust it so you can see that i'm just picking the edges now i just need to trim this okay so i'll use tr on my keyboard to pick that line and that line i'm just trimming the corners as you can see from here that line and that line that and that line you can see the trim tr or just click on trim there i can go there and make sure that i pick all these 
then all that as you can see just streaming they are there this one and that one this one and this one this one and that one and what are we remaining with i think we are remaining with a few edges to trim there make sure that it's a complete loop as in it's completely closed don't make a mistake of leaving n line otherwise it will give you an error so you can see that i'm just trimming this is self-explanatory you're able to do that without a problem so i'm just picking the edges i'm still in the trim command just picking line by line and i'm done with all the lines as you can see now just go to the green check mark click there then i can click the little house there click outside and as you can see we have it right there we have the ridge we have the valley this is the workaround that you can use in revit now it's entirely up to you if you want to change the thickness for that this is just a roof we just cut it like that and when you do renders like this it will look very very realistic as you saw from the other model it looks so good so if i want i can change the thickness maybe this is too thick and you can do whatever you want i don't have to tell you what you need to do maybe if i want maybe 50 or let me say 30 you can go ahead and do that click on ok apply so it's up to you to do whatever i want to do so this is how you create your ridge the valley and the hip just in this simple manner so once again don't forget to like my videos share with your friends and check the courses in revit architecture revit structure and robot structure analysis in the description see you in some upcoming tutorials